guys, so I'm almost starting to think I need to take our blinds down and wash them because every time I open that window to use it for light to record, it's like you gotta let it like die down for a second. See what I mean? It's horrible. So pardon the dust. It's I swear I dust and I clean. I just I haven't done that, so, and who knows the last time they've been done, to be completely honest. Anyhow, oh, now the air conditioning just kicked on. <laughs> it's going to get really, <laughs> yay. Um, anyways, so I wanted to do a little update on school. We have started back at school, and I know it seems early for a lot of people, but there's people that have started last week and the week before, too. So, uh, while it's early, it's, I don't, I guess it's not that early, but I know some people start in, like, a month. Um, which is crazy to me, but it's better. Like you're, you're actually like in fall. I still feel like it's so summertime. It's weird taking him to school, but I am. Um, his teacher is, I don't know yet how I'm going to feel about her. And that last year, the same thing. He got a teacher last year and everybody was like, Oh, like have fun. And this year, the teacher that we have and we ended up really liking the one before because she was pretty strict and that's why a lot of the parents were like Meh, and I love it this year we have basically the equivalent to Mrs. Frizzle from the magic school bus <laughs> she is fabulous <laughs> um, she wears these elaborate hats and these crazy outfits and she used to be a music teacher so she like sings a ton and she I mean, she had us like singing the day we walked into class. She wanted like us to like carry on all the tunes, like, um, you know, the ba 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 ba, the McDonald's one. And then, yeah, I'm loving it. So she wanted everybody doing that <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff. And she's just, she's very artsy. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm curious to see how that's gonna play out for Deacon because, to be completely honest, he's not. A very artsy kid he can color for about three minutes before he's just like I am done and is on to something else he just doesn't really care his penmanship isn't fabulous he is it's just it's just not a strong suit so I think it might be a good thing at the same time I'm a little concerned because I really want my child to be pushed hard I want him to be challenged and maybe you know he'll it'll keep him where he's at with reading but it'll push him where he's not you know really naturally strong and that's oh, with the arts art kind of stuff music art it's more of a Drake thing see how that goes we turned in all the school supplies so that went good um, I had a lot of comments there's a lot of people and you know what the US is just a little jacked up on health care and education and it's like so that. crazy to read the comments from people in you know Europe or Australia or wherever Canada even where they're like we don't pay for anything like we supply that somebody said we supply the children that is that is a quite the concept right like we have to pay so much granted his school's a little bit different but still like it's just it's just shocking it's just shocking so um it's it's kind of the norm depending on the neighborhood the school list varies a little bit and from teacher to teacher it was not a suggested list it is the list you get an email if you don't supply the things from the list especially the class fee you get an email on that one quickly so um, yeah and it's it's a lot I mean it's it's a lot of money it's it's hard to do sometimes so uh, happy to have that out of the way anyways so there's that uh, Drake is starting pre-k for the third year <laughs> free school free k whatever um it is not all, if that's another thing that is not provided here that's not a um like a public pre-k that doesn't exist so uh, we are gonna do doing what i did with deacon which was that private montessori preschool instead deacon went two days a week he went tuesday thursday 9 to eleven thirty or something like that and drake is gonna go monday wednesday friday so it's only two and a half hours a day, but it's three days a week and I'm going to be doing a, a babysitting swap with my friend. She's going to take Drake the second half of Wednesday so I get a full work day. I'm going to take her daughter the second half of Fridays so that she gets some time off um, to get stuff done or to work with, um, so I just read work, <laughs> to uh, be with her husband, whatever, go on a date have some time away from kids, whatever, you know, how valuable that time can be. So that is going to be my, um, a really rough, rough week. Now, depending on how it goes, if I can get enough work done, I will just do this preschool. 
if I can't and I'm not getting enough done and, you know, I, he's bored or whatever or spending too much time wanting to watch TV or play the PlayStation or an iPad or whatever, then um, I want to send him Tuesdays and Thursdays and just find a way to make it work. <laughs> because he right now is just, he is just jumping out of his skin wanting to go to school. And it's hard because there are kids going in that are his age. I mean, he is, he just, I mean, he just missed the cutoff. And kids that are going in next year that are kind of on the other end of it, I'm like, wow, like developmentally, that year makes such a difference. So I just have to keep reminding myself that like on the flip, it's going to be a good thing that I didn't like test him in early or that I didn't start him early somewhere else. Or you know what I mean? Like I just, just got to hold out this year, but he is just itching. So I'm hoping that the Monday, Wednesday, Friday is enough to satisfy him. I wish it was longer. Unfortunately, it's not, but it's a pretty, um, pretty genius curriculum for the two and a half hours that he's there. So I, you know, Deacon learned a ton. I, it's, it's just the program I want for him because it was so good for Deacon, but I'm like, can you, uh, is there a, can you just roll into the afternoon session too? <laughs> like, how can we do this? Um, oh, that sounds, that sounds rough, but it's just the way it is. Like he's, he's ready. He's, you know, and I'm busy with work and I'm going to be taking on more and I just, you know, it's just, it's hard. It goes back to the being a work at home mom thing. It's just a hard, it's a hard thing to balance and that's, that's kind of where I'm at with it. So, um, yeah, what else? And I'm so tired of working into the wee morning hours. Like I'm over that. I did that. I'm done with it. I, I want, I'm not done with it, but I want to be done with it. I'm done with it in my fantasy land. <laughs> I'm over it. Like I'm done. But in reality, I'm still doing it like multiple nights a week. One day. Um, and it'll just, it's just a matter of having the kids be uh, entertained and busy or at school all day long. So that'll happen eventually. What else is there? I wanted to talk about that was school related. Um, oh, schedules. And this is almost a separate video because I'm already at eight and a half minutes. So, um, I'll do that in a separate video. I talked in my bad mom's tag about how the one thing that I really want to change as a mom is my, I guess, following through and doing things. And I think I, I really thought a lot about it after I did that video. Cause I'm like, this is such a controllable thing. Why is this the one thing that I want to change about being a mom and can't achieve it? Like I should be able to achieve this. So I thought a lot about it and I actually came up with a schedule. We've done it now for 24 hours and it's so far so good. <laughs> um, it's only day in though. So we'll see. Uh, I just, something, something's got to change, you know, and yeah, I'll share it with you guys. Maybe you guys can have some ideas. So I'll do that in a separate video. I've got to go get Deacon from school right now, but, um, yep, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.